Hey guys, it's Futon here, and today we'll be discussing the new instance burners. Um, the instance burners are a new update where you can add overworld effects to your character depending on the herbs you use for the burners. And the way the burners work is that you have to use one stick per um, 10 minutes, and every 10 minutes that the you're gonna keep adding sticks to it, and every 10 minutes the um, herb the effect becomes more powerful. Or you could burn six sticks of Western overload and get max potency um, instantly. But um, first thing we're going to do before we go into how you make the sticks is we're going to go over the effects. So, because some of these are very, very underwhelming and some of them people don't even realize aren't even that good. Um, one of my friends did some analysis on uh, one of them in particular and found out that it's a pile of garbage. So with further ado, we're going to be going into the actual effects now. Um, in discussing that, the, um, the effect, first one is Marintel. Marintel gives you, per potency, which is a maximum of four, 12.5% chance of, or 12.5% poison reduction. So, the Marintel can give you up to 50% of max potency, which, um, takes 40 minutes or overloaded, of course. Um, the Harlander is 25% increase the run energy per potency, and then that stacks to be 100%. The Har the Raynar gives 1% per bonus per um, potency, so 4% per bonus. Um, again, these three, not so useful. Toflax, 12.5% chance to avoid a agility obstacle. I don't like this because sure-footed aura, again... See, it's a world you play, I guess. Now we get the Spirit Weed. Spirit Weed is one of the few that is extremely worth it. It is 10%, quote this, 10% summoning restore per potency. So when it's at full, it is a 40% summoning restore with the potions and normal regeneration, which means your Titan does 40% more damage. It is actually quite amazing at Solak. It ah god, it's Solak is beautiful. And ED two one three get okay. it's beautiful and ED two. Um, I'm not for sure what the cost of the spirit weed is just yet, but that is one of the best ones to make. Um, Irit Irit is twenty five percent poison reduction for potency. Um, it's saying this, what it's basically saying is that. Marito and Eret stack in a weird way. They're they're not like additive. So fifty percent for Marito and fifty percent for Eret. It's a hundred percent. It's not how it works. But basically, with the overloaded of Eret, it gives you a hundred percent. Now this is one of the other ones that I feel that is worth it because it allows you to replace Venom Blood, which is very 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 nice. Um, and at Greg, actually, the only place it applies is Greg because you. A salve will cover you in nearly every other <sighs> circumstance. Um, with Galley, which is a 0.5% chance to strip Wedge and Unstrung Bow. Um, this one here is a very debatable. From what I understand and what I've been reading along the lines of some posts, this one is absolutely useless for main accounts because the value of the Regali herb will never supersede how much you save from a bow at all from the bowstring but this is actually a decent herb for Iron Man because you know what else am I gonna do with Wingali you know if I have it you might as well use it in the instance burners um the next one on the list is Avento which is again useless because baiting hunter traps actually doesn't do anything um worthwhile um, that's been a known thing for a long time. I mean, it's a little extra boost, whatever. But it really doesn't do anything to anything that has um, a higher, like, a good XP raise. Tortles don't use bait. Chins don't. I don't think, I know Carnivus Chinchapas do, but I know Crystals don't. At least I believe Crystals don't. Um... Uh, so I don't really even see a use of this one. So Avento, of course, the one herb that needed help is just back in the garbage bin. Um, 
the next one is Quorum. Now, Quorum is one of the ones that's a oof, big one. Uh, Quorum, now, the way this works is you get five, you 10% total weapon poison damage. I know this isn't multiplicative. It is by the base. So, basically, what happens with this is that you get 10% of the base. And you get the... It's additive with the um, Cinderbane. So, you get the Cinderbane bonus plus this. They don't multiply with each other. Basically, that's how that works. So, it's like a total... It's a ten, It's not really a 10%. It's more like a 5% buff. If you're wearing Cinderbanes. If you're not wearing Cinderbanes, then it's a full 10% buff. It basically replaces them or adds to them. Is the best way to really describe it. Uh, Bloodweed tree point ten percent chance to get double log of kind of bloodwood trees. Again, this is not that great for main accounts. It's good for irons because bloodweed is not cheap. It is not damn cheap, and you have to overload this. So yeah, uh, Snapdragon fifty percent extra stat restore per potency. Uh, so twice the rest stat restore. Which again, I don't, I don't see a use of this at all. None. Uh, maybe for a desert treasure quest, if you even have the high enough fire making level by the time you do the quest. Um, yeah, that's about all I can really think of with that. Um, the next one is Canatine, which is 2.5% for potency is not the exhaustive resource, and it only works on trees. So again, Crystallize, Arcadia, I don't think they really use their head too much with this one. It really doesn't do jack anything. <laughs> this one I find entirely like Catadine. I'm at least glad the Catadine because it's a pain in the butt to get. Like, just coming to the game is kind of one of the useless ones. Lanadines, now this one is one I'm going to put into discussion. It gives you a 30 seconds on potion timers per potency. Yay. However, the price of Lantadime is so high that for overloads, it is cheaper to just make a new overload. Prayer Renewals. It doesn't increase the amount of prayer, prayer restore. It just extends how long it takes for the prayer restores. The only thing I can think about for this is Weapon Poison, where it is actually really good. Weapon Poison and, and, and Dragon Fire. So, the put it, in put, put it in quotes. This thing is horrible for Holy Overloads. It is horrible for Supremes. It is great for Antifires. That's about where you're going to get hit with. It is great for Antifires and great for Salves. So, yeah, that's about what you're going to get hit with with the Lance Dimes. If you're not using Overload Salves, I would highly not bother with this potion or with this Instance Burner. It's kind of, or unless you're an Iron Man. If you're an Iron Man, there's a total different story. It is worth in every way, shape, and form. But for main accounts, unfortunately, unless you're using Overload Salves and doing something that act like ED2 to require Dragonfire. I don't really think it's worth too much, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, next one is Dwarf Weed, which is a 2% per potency of the bank dropped items or gathered items. It basically acts like a sign of the porter. Whatever the sign of the porter works on, this will work on. As a note, unfortunately, it notes the item in your bank, which means it eats up another slot. So... Um, yeah, this thing is a little buggy, but I'm for sure they'll get this fixed. Um, here's a, the one of the next big ones, which is Torso, 0.5% base XP per potency. Uh, torso is really um, one of the best because it replaces a Valentine's Slam, if anyone knows what that was. Uh, it was a treasure hunter item where you could slam once per day for 22 hours and get a 2% bonus XP base across everything. So this is what this does now. It costs you six torso um, herbs per hour to use, which is a little less expensive than what the Valentine's Lamb was, but still it is very nice. Um, 
The next one is Fell Stocks with the Fell Stock one is a very niche item. Uh, basically, it is only good for Edamu and Rune Dragons at this very moment because it gives a one percent chance for the spawn. Um, and yeah, that is literally the only two things right now in game that is worth. And the Rune Dragons are not worth it for money on Slayer Tests, by the way. It is only worth if you're actually hunting the Ketsi, because all of the, uh, scales and stuff can be done from, uh, Elite Dungeons. So, each Elite Dungeon has a different skill type, uh, with Lucky Charms, and, yeah, kind of crashed it. And then again, Edamu for the increased Blood Shard chance, and the pet. Um, and soon to be, eventually, Ripper Demons as well. But, um, yeah, actually for Ripper Demons off task, this will make a massive difference. I know what the numbers are, but I'm going to wait to the pest release to explain how the Slayer task works. Um, but yeah, this is basically all the effects and how they are good and which ones are bad. Again, it really depends on your account type. Like for Iron Man, Regali, Atlanta Dimes are really good, but for main accounts, they are a pile of garbage in a way. Um, just because of the cost, you not ver justify using the instant burners outside of overload salves. Um, so, yeah, unfortunate. Either way, um, we'll now be going into how you actually make these instant uh, burners, and then, um, yeah, that'll be about it. So, on to that. Okay guys, here we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to make these. Uh, first off, you craft the magic logs, and then you get the option for instant sticks. And, uh, okay, it takes two. Okay, that's, that's annoying, but okay, so it's two magic logs. Two, probably two of each log. I'm going to look at that whenever I look at this here. Okay. Instant sticks. Boom. Done. Coat them with ashes and uh okay, so it's two of everything. Two of the ashes, then add the herb, which is a one herb with this fell stock, and then you have fell stock instant sticks. So that's really all you have to do. So it's two logs. Two her two two logs two ash depending on the type, so some could take normal logs all the way up to um, the uh, some could take normal logs all the way up to blah, 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 blah. magic and then some could take um, all the way from impious to infernal ashes and then the herb. But that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, and they're really easy to make. You get some fire making XP for making them. And, um, yeah, that's about all for the update. Hopefully, the explanations weren't too long, but, yeah, it's not too much to make these. They are kind of expensive, and uh, from what I understand, also, as a note, you do lose them on death. I've been hearing rumors you lose them on lobby, but I highly doubt that that is actually true. But either way, thank you guys very much for watching, and have a wonderful day.